Good morning, everyone. Thank you for being here today with us to recognize World Mental Health Day, officially recognized on October 10th. Um, we have some great advocates and organizations represented here today, and I will quickly pass the microphone if you want to fill in the galley so everyone can introduce themselves. Thank you. Beth Tabachnik, Crisis Center. Pamela Saunders, Crisis Center. Deborah Ike Busi, Crisis Center. David Hill, Access to Behavioral Health Services. Samar Cleef, Local Behavioral Health Authority. Steffi Benjamin, National Alliance on Mental Illness, Montgomery County. Good morning, Lily Rojas, Wellness Program Manager. Amanda Cohill with the Live Well Program, Wellness Coordinator. Good morning, Karen Bass, Health Insurance Manager for Montgomery County. Good morning, Kelly Collins with EveryMind. Good morning, George McFarlane, African American Health Program. Good morning, Ingrid Lisama, Latino Health Initiative. Good morning, Candita Hines, African American Health Program. Good morning, Wanda Smith, the African American Health Program. Thank you all, and we will hear from Dr. Stoddard shortly. Um, just wanted to get started that this year's World Mental Health Day, the theme is mental health at work, so we have some advocates from Montgomery County joining us. Uh, reflecting on this year's theme, I wanna take a moment to recognize that a healthy and supportive work environment is crucial to fostering positive mental health for all workers and their loved ones. So as a council member at large, member of the Health and Human Services and Economic Development Committee and the county's lead for eliminating disparities in public health, I understand that while a supportive work environment can provide workers with purpose and stability, poor working conditions and unmet mental health needs for workers can lead to decreased performance, higher turnover, and a profoundly unsatisfied workforce. Mental health issues can impact any one of us, no matter our background, upbringing, or socioeconomic status. When we recognize that mental health is essential to our overall well-being, we can work to reduce barriers to care and make it easier for residents to access critical mental and behavioral health services. According to the World Health Organization, depression and anxiety alone result in the loss of approximately 12 billion workdays per year. In Maryland, our residents, including half a million people who make up our county's workforce, experience a higher rate of unmet mental health care needs than the national average. Providing much needed context for our community's urgent need with limited resource availability and accessibility. Finally, I wanna thank the representatives of our county government's Live Well program for receiving the Gold Bell Seal. It's an award for the second year as a national leader in workplace mental health. So kudos to Montgomery County government. Um, our county is committed to promoting mental health at work, fostering diversity and reducing stigma. Without further ado, I will now turn this over to Dr. Stoddard, Assistant Chief Administrative Officer at the Department of Health and Human Services to share a few remarks. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Councilwoman Sales. Um, so uh, when I saw that the theme for this year was um, you know, mental health at work, uh, it struck a really uh, important chord with me before I was an assistant chief administrative officer, I actually served as the county's emergency manager during the pandemic. And um, as you can imagine, as it was for many people, that was an incredibly stressful period for me uh, and many people in the front line who had to come in every day and um, uh, face real challenges. And I, it was really important to me when we were having our daily calls to remind people to look out for themselves, look out for their coworkers, make sure that you were, you know, thinking about the people who were under real stress every day uh, and be, be good partners to them. And I have no problem saying I struggled with stress and my own mental health during this period of time. It was an incredibly stressful period of time. And I only made it because I picked up a physical activity. And I, we'll talk about the Live Well program here momentarily. And because people called me and checked in and said, hey, how are you doing? You know, are you keeping you eating healthy, doing things, doing the right things. And 
you know, it, it gave me a real appreciation for the power of other people in my own mental health and the power of physical activity and exercise in there as well. And so I think that's just a really important thing that we're going to talk about with the Live Well program. That said, uh, despite our efforts to, you know, things like the Live Well program, we still have people who struggle with mental health every day. And an important way that we can um, have people be better prepared adults is to actually work with our children. And so we have we have the Bridges to Wellness program in our school system that helps with mental health. We have our mobile crisis and outreach teams which try to address uh, the critical stress in our, in our communities. And so this is an area that the county executive and the county council are in lockstep where we continue to invest in the expansion of our mental health programs throughout the county. Despite those best efforts, however, we saw a 19% increase in those uh, ending up in the emergency room for suicide attempts last year in Montgomery County. And so that speaks to the power and importance of things like 988 which is, our, which is our critical helpline when you're in crisis, please do call it. If you're even approaching crisis, please do call it. Share that number broadly, widely. Do not be afraid to call. It is anonymous. There are protections in place that can, you allow, allow you to call safely. And so, you know, I, I think this speaks to the power of, of, of co collaborative government with the executive branch, the council, but more importantly, frankly, our nonprofit partners like the National Alliance on Mental Illness, uh, Every Mind, um, the health partnerships, you know, there's a lot of people who are working in the mental health space and we need more of them, uh, but obviously it's an important collaboration. And so on behalf of the county executive, thank you for joining us in uh, recognizing World Mental Health Day. All right. Thank you, Dr. Stoddard for joining us. And now we will hear from Kelly Collins, Senior Director of Human Resources at Every Mind. Good morning. Thank you, Council Member Sales and the entire County Council for recognizing World Mental Health Day. I'm Kelly Collins, and I'm the Senior Director of Human Resources at Every Mind. For nearly 70 years, Every Mind has been a nonprofit dedicated to mental health. With over 25 years of experience in human resources, I've worked closely with employers to ensure that their teams have the necessary support for both personal and professional challenges. At Every Mind, we are deeply committed to fostering a culture where mental health is prioritized, not only for the individuals and families we serve, but for our own staff as well. We know that when our employees feel supported, they can perform their best. I would like to share a few ways in which we support the mental health of our employees. We have designed a comprehensive benefits package that emphasizes mental well-being. Our employee assistance program offers confidential counseling and resources to any employee or family member who needs it. We've introduced six wellness days and six floating holidays, allowing staff to recharge and celebrate the diversity that strengthens our organization. In addition, our flexible work arrangements enable our employees to balance personal and professional responsibilities. To further support our team, we've launched a leadership development program aimed at empowering managers to become champions of mental health within their own teams. Great leadership nurtures well-being in the workplace, while lack of these skills can negatively impact employees, leading to stress, sleep issues, and mood changes. Looking ahead, Every Mind's hotline team is preparing for an expected increase in calls during the upcoming election season. In response, we're rolling out a new workforce wellness initiative. Hotline employees will complete a monthly professional quality of life survey, and supervisors will use this data to track trends and make adjustments based on employee feedback. By listening and responding to our team's needs, we can foster a healthier and more productive workplace where individuals can thrive both personally and professionally. In closing, I want to underscore the importance of mental well-being in creating a healthy and resilient work environment. When we invest in mental health, we enhance not only individual lives, but the collective strength of our team. On this World Mental Health Day, Every Mind is grateful to the County Council and its ongoing dedication to this critical cause. Together, we can build workplaces where everyone feels valued, heard, and empowered to succeed. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Collins. Now we will hear from Lily Rojas, the Wellness Program Manager at Live Well, Montgomery County Government. 
Good morning. It's an honor here uh, to be here highlighting such an important topic as is mental health in the workplace. Um, despite its prevalence, we know that there is a continued stigma around mental health and it is our responsibility and every employer's responsibility to provide resources for their employees, take care of their overall mental health and overall well-being. Here in Montgomery County, we value the importance of mental health and its impact on both our personal and our professional lives. We recognize the importance of supporting employee well-being to ensure they can effectively support our community and support our county residents. We took this call to action and have been able to provide a wide variety of programs for our employees and uh, their well-being. Some of the programs that we offer through Live Well are mental health first aid training, various stress management programs, <clears throat> of course, our employee assistance program that offers counseling, it offers work-life balance, and legal and financial advice. We offer tactical brain training for our first responders who are always in need because of all the crises that they uh, deal with on a daily basis. We offer on-site resources in different topics in mental health as, as well as webinars so that all of our employees are able to access the resources. Our goal is to provide a safe environment to have open discussions on mental well-being. We are extremely proud of our gold belt seal for Mental Health America for two years. It is an honor and it is a commitment from us and from the county to continue the work in mental health and to continue to provide resources for our employees. Being able to maintain good health is essential to every individual's overall health and we remain committed to continue the work in this field. We continue committed to decreasing the stigma and ensuring that our employees feel supported. That is the most important for us, making sure that our employees feel supported and that they also feel that they can seek help when needed. Championing workplace mental health is an evolving journey. However, investing in our employees' mental well-being remains a firm commitment from our county leaders and we appreciate the trust that you have placed in us in order to continue this very important work. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Rojas. And now I will be joined by Dr. Stoddard to read the proclamation. All right, whereas World Mental Health Day is the only global day for mental health awareness, and this year's theme is Mental Health at Work, which focuses on highlighting the critical connection between mental health and workspace interaction, and... Whereas when poor working conditions like discrimination, harassment, limited autonomy, low pay, job insecurity, and other issues persist without adequate protections for workers, workers' mental health is often negatively impacted, and... Whereas over one in four adults in Maryland reported having symptoms of anxiety or depressive or disorder, with 30% stating they have not received much needed mental health care. Cost prohibitive care, a lack of mental health professionals to meet existing demand, and a persisting negative stigma surrounding seeking mental health support are just some of the barriers to accessing mental health care, both in Maryland and across the country, and Whereas vulnerable populations such as disabled residents, the LGBTQ plus community, our unhoused neighbors, communities of color, survivors of domestic violence, and people in detention and correctional facilities all disproportionately suffer from lack of access to mental health care and. Whereas Montgomery County has made strides for their employees by implementing the award-winning Live Well Employee Wellness Program, expanding the Employee Assistance Program to connect employees to mental health professionals and resources, empowering workers through innovation, workshops to make efficient changes to their work, continuing to evolve for the staff, and setting a compelling example for employers across the county to invest in their workers' mental wellness proactively and. Whereas the county is continuing its investments in our mobile crisis outreach teams, the 988 Suicide and Crisis Lifeline, school-based health and wellness centers, and various mental and behavioral health programs targeting disadvantaged populations and. 
Whereas on World Mental Health Day, we urge all employers to ensure safe and healthy work environments, worker protections, and adequately resource support services to promote and protect every worker's mental well being. Now, therefore, it be resolved that Mark Elrich, as County Executive and the County Council of Montgomery County, Maryland, hereby recognizes World Mental Health Day as an essential day to advocate for and promote equitable access to mental health care for all so that everyone has the opportunity to thrive at work and in life. Presented on this eighth day of October in the year 2024 by Council Member Lorian Sales, Mark Elrich as County Executive and Council President Friedson on behalf of the entire council. Thank you.